Hi guys, how are you? This is going to be for my Libras. And this is going to be from the 18th through the 24th of December. I hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves. I'm going to be using my Affirmatus Tarot deck today. And to clarify, I'll be using my tarot decks. <laughs> That's what the box says. Tarot decks, cards with meanings. And these are the cards. Okay. So Libra, this is for you. The Page of Swords. So what are you on the alert for? Is someone checking on you? On your social media? The Ace of Swords. Come here, Leila. Come right here, Leila. Come here, baby. Come right here. That's a good girl. Good shot. Good boy. Love you too. Um, the Ace of Swords. Something is going to give you some kind of clarity. It's going to give you some knowledge. Something is going to come and it's going to open your eyes to something. You're the Empress. You feel grounded and nurturing and caring. And that's who you are. However, the Nine of Wands. I see something coming towards you very fast. Are you running away from something very fast? And you got some sweat on his brow. Something that's scary. What are you running from? Two of Pentacles. You feel slightly off balance where money is concerned. Or you might have multiple priorities. So all you need to do is write a list and make the things you need to do and prior prioritize them. And it will seem to feel a little better for you. I see there is a Queen of Wands here. The Queen of Wands. This is a, um, a fire energy. This could be a uh, Leo, a Sagittarius, or an Aries. They're kind of stubborn kind of energy. Are you being stubborn with yourself? And the moon. You're not seeing something clearly. Okay, you're not seeing something clearly. And the four pentacles. You're saving money. You're hoarding it. Or are you now learning to save it? Are you watching every penny now? And the strength card. You have a lot of inner strength. Believe that. So let's see the page of swords. Let's see if somebody's looking at you or are you looking at somebody? Libra. Let's see. If these are three cards, I'm going to use them. Page of swords. On top of that came the chariot. Movement. You got to control yourself. You need willpower. You're searching for things. 
judgment, a rebirth, an inner calling, a new phase in your life, an awakening. Wow. However, the two of swords, a difficult decision. Something is coming towards you fast. So this is the chariot, the judgment card, and the two of swords. Okay, there you go. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. The Ace of Swords. <laughs> now those I ain't doing. in your head the decision you're trying to make is moving away to calmer waters that's the decision you're trying to do the decision you're trying to make and you're trying to release old baggage it's very important to release that old baggage that's visiting the past a lot of people don't like to do that because it makes them sad but by visiting the past and going through those emotions of the things that happened to us and the things that we did to other people, we can come to terms with it and we can bring it and make it part of us. And it centers us. It centered me anyway. You know, and it opened me up to love. To love so many people. It's just, a, I really wish I could just like, just show you. But you got to do it from a place of love. <laughs> so the Knight of Swords. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry about that. I don't know what happened here. And the Nine of Pentacles. Hmm. So you want to move away. The Six of Swords, you want to move away to something calmer. Peaceful. You're thinking about it. You're really, really, really thinking and considering it. Because you've planted some really good seeds. And you can want you financially. You seeing you're seeing the fruits of your labor. You're reaping the benefits and the rewards. The Empress. Sorry. Empress. I don't know why I'm getting emotional reading you. Libra, the ten of um, the ten of wands. You're carrying your burden. You have a lot. You feel like you have a lot of burden you're carrying. Okay, it's just extra responsibility, and it's just maybe a little extra work that you have to do. If you have to ask people for help, ask them for help. Okay. It's either yes or no. And then here's the Queen of Swords. This is a uh, air energy. This is a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. Good Lord. So, this is the feminine Libra, okay? The communicator. You're thinking about communicating with someone. Who are you thinking about communicating with? Whoever it is, it's coming fast. You got Ten of Wands. Ooh, the Queen of Swords. And the Eight of Wands. Something is coming towards you very fast. And then here comes the Nine of Wands here. And you're trying to run from it. What are you running from?
the king of pentacles wealth business leadership this is the earth energy this is um, about money financial wealth prosperity um this is a business manager you know this is the masculine now it could be actually a masculine energy within your environment it could be a virgo a taurus or a capricorn but this could be you acting and making the money although you are seeing the rewards you're not stopping you know you know you have to replenish your goods so to speak your 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 whatever it is that you're working on so you got some business idea and hope oh, yeah i said idea this one says the page of swords is new ideas so you got some new business ideas coming so you got the king of pentacles the page of swords and the page of cups they're going to be very creative opportunities you're going to come up with and that are, that are going to come to you they're going to come to you they're going to come to you you're going to receive some messages also in regards to it and it's going to be very happy and you're going to be like it's going to be very surprised but don't get like over ecstatic okay just you know nice you know feel it it's good thanks and thank you be grateful always be grateful Whew. On top of the two of pentacles came the emperor. You're well respected in your community. Or this could be an Aries energy that you're dealing with. I need to drink some water, excuse me. Sorry about that. Or it could be an Aries energy you're dealing with. But the emperor is well respected. It's probably saying that's who you are. You know, um, people know you. You're very well known, maybe. Maybe that's why, you know, all these opportunities are coming towards you. Um, you're also very compassionate. I see the Queen of Cups here. It could be someone in your environment. It could be a Pisces, a Cancer. It could be a Scorpio. Um, however, this could be you just reflecting and going within yourself. Okay, and balancing your emotions. Whatever it is that something happened here. Something you're running from. I don't know what. Because it does, nothing bad came on top here that I can see. And the Hierophant. This is some kind of um, bond, binding agreement. It could be a marriage or it could be a contract. So you got the Emperor, the Queen of Cups, and the Hierophant. Queen of Wands, the fire energy. This fire energy makes you feel like you lack. Like, um, it makes you in a lack mindset. Feel like you don't have. You feel like financial loss. Or you may be worrying about that. Get out of your head. Okay? Get out of your head. Have faith in yourself. Believe in you and the magic that's within you. You already are doing it. And I see you're preparing and you might be going on a trip or something you're working on is moving forward. I got the three of wands. So this is the five of pentacles and the three of wands. And the lovers. Hmm. This is love, harmony, relationships, union. Some kind of partnership, passion involved, sexuality. Mm. The strength of two together. Hmm. This is some deep love. It's a deep, deep love. Are you in love?
with some more some are you in love with someone else but it's in your mind someone who's far away I see the moon because you're not seeing it clearly, okay? I just got the feeling like, I got the feeling that you're in some kind of binding relationship, a relationship that's, there's a bond, a committed relationship. Could be a marriage or it could just be a committed relationship. I see that you want to move away from it. And I see that you're thinking, and I think this person that you're in love with is far away. I said something, but social media, when I first read here, remember I said things will come together sometimes, you know, I'm, when, I, when I clarify. Social media here. Is this someone you met on social media? If it is, it's a scam. I'm telling you, it's a scam. You're not seeing things clearly. You're not seeing things clearly because of your current situation. Your current emotional situation. Your heart, not your financial part. Your financial part, you're okay. But you're not seeing something clearly. <laughs> and I'm going to use this card because it turned up. The Three of Swords. Okay? If you... Okay. All right. If you go this way here, or you continue communicating, or whatever it is that you're doing, or wait, whatever you, you're waiting on some message. If you go that way, you're gonna end up with a broken heart. Okay. That person isn't being honest. That person, when I see the moon, the moon tells me someone is lying. And it also tells me you're not seeing things clearly. And you're up at night, you're worrying about stuff. I got the ten of swords, uh, the nine of swords. Fear, depression, worry. Stop worrying. Stop doing that to yourself. Because, darling, you are the magician. You hear me? You... All are the magician. You hold the pen in your hand to write your life story. Believe that. You hear me? You have that within you. You just got to wake it up. And start writing. Start healing. You'll be amazed. The Four of Pentacles, Temperance, Patience. Patience, okay? Be patient. Things have a way of falling into place. You, <laughs> four of pentacles, you see what I'm saying? The four of pentacles again. You're saving money. You have a solid foundation. But I do see that you have a lot of conflict around you. I got the five of, <clears throat> the five of swords. Disagreements. You feel defeated. Sometimes, you know, that happens. Sometimes we manifest things and we're not very specific about the things we manifest. Okay? You have to be very specific. Down to the smell of someone's breath, the look of their toenails, their feet, the things that you admire in someone. You know? You have to be that specific. The qualities. Dot all the I's and cross all your T's. When you're manifesting. Be specific. Four cups. You're meditating. Contemplating. You're thinking about something. You're reevaluating things. And your wishes will come true. The nine of cups. You're going to have emotional stability, satisfaction, and you're going to be grateful. 
and the sun card, the happiest card in the deck, positive happiness. So Libra, I shall shed, I did shed a tear tonight. <laughs> I don't know why, what happened. Maybe I felt you, you know, um, I want to let you know that I love you. Get rid of low vibrational things like jealousy, hatred, anger. Let it go. You know, that's low. You don't you just do it. Do everything you do in a place of love. Open your heart up. Open your heart up. Open it up. And you will see. Wake it up. I love you. <laughs>